day. Welcome to another uh, podcast for uh, Vitamiris. And uh, I thought today what I'd do is uh, take you through my workflow uh, using Aperture 3. Um, I've just been out on a, uh, on a shoot and uh, to take some photos for this and I uh, thought I'd just walk through my uh, workflow as we do it. So I've got the uh, Canon 7D already connected to the laptop. Uh, I'm using a MacBook Pro and uh, so I'm just going to flick that on and uh, we'll see the application automatically recognises the camera and puts the uh, preview up. Uh, what I normally do is uh, uh, just put everything in a new project so I'll just call this uh, the sunset, which it was today, um, and uh, just put that straight in the aperture library. Um, I don't uh, normally fill out any of these other presets, which you can in in this sort of area around here. Um, I, I don't, uh, don't don't normally uh, complete any of that, but uh, you obviously can if you want to. I don't have any scripts set up either, so we're just ready just to import that straight in. Um, so click that the import. There's, uh, this will take a while, so I'll, I'll pause the recording here and uh, we'll pick it up just in a, in a few minutes. Okay, so uh, that's finished importing. You can see here imported uh, 50 photos here from uh, just being out for a, uh, for a few minutes today. Um, and uh, this uh, dialog box has came up uh, here. I normally uh, just delete the items off the camera. Um, you may want to keep them depending on how important the shoot uh, is to you, just to make sure everything's come through uh, right. That would certainly uh, make a lot of sense if it was uh, you'd been out on, a, on a, an important shoot. But I'm, I'm going to delete the items uh, today and uh, uh, certainly just delete those off the camera. Um, of course you can go back into the camera and delete them later yourself if you want to. Um, so the next thing that I normally do, and you'll, you'll notice that what's going on down here is uh, Aperture still uh, processing uh, these images. Um, it's one of the things that uh, you kind of need to do is uh, if you're going to have a look at the, uh, a, a good look at these pictures on the way uh, through, you really need to let each of them kind of load. now. Uh, you know, it was a pretty ordinary day out there and what I was trying to get uh, today was uh, some of this, uh, um, this sort of area here you can see um, uh, coming through um, some shots are better than others so what I normally do is just have a very quick flick through just to see just, uh, what sort of shots that I've got here um, and you're already sort of making a mental note as you go through as to the, the shots that you, you sort of like uh, better for keeping. So my, my first thing that I'm doing is just trying to sort through these images. I've got 50 images here, not all of them are going to be keepers and so uh, I just want to have a, a, a good look for sort of uh, what sorts of shots uh, are the ones that I want to keep. Uh, having done all of that, um, then what I'll be doing is quickly going through these and sort of rating them um, as to whether or not they're worth keeping or not. Now, as I said, if you're not really sure, you really do need to let the, uh, the loading of the images finish first. So you can see up in this area here, um, the images are loading. Um, you don't get a really good picture of how they're, uh, proce how they're going to look after they've been processed by Aperture um, until you've um, uh, had a good look at them. So that's the first thing that I do. I'll just go through these and uh, you rate them. I, I use the uh, minus and the plus key. So uh, if they're ones that I'm definitely not wanting to keep, I'll hit uh, a minus on them. They'll be ones that I delete. And then the ones that look like they might be keepers, um, I'll just put a uh, press the plus and you'll see a little star comes up here uh, in this area. Um, there uh, as, a, as a one star for the, for the ones that are definitely uh, the ones I'm not sure about, I don't touch. So uh, if they're definitely ones that I want to get rid of, um, this was these three images here are ones that I took for a HDR. So we'll see, I'll, I want to ha obviously hang on to those. So they will all get a plus. One of the things you can do, um, and it actually pays to do so you get a good look at what's going on here, is to do this in full screen mode. Um, so 
um, running it in full screen mode is because uh, you can just use your left and right arrows to flick between your photos you're getting a really good look and you can still use your plus and minuses here so as you're going through um, uh, you can see the you know, I want to I want to keep that one there and so you see the little star uh, comes up in this area here and um, uh, whereas something like this one's a bit blown out and I don't reckon I'm going to be able to recover that but I'll, I'll leave it out for, for now I won't uh, reject it out of hand um, and as you can see we're just going through these images and uh, and choose which ones I like this one because I've got the, the birds here in the, in this area I might be able to get something out of that so uh, I'll keep, uh, keep that one okay so having uh, sort of rated with stars each of the, uh, the images that I'm wanting to keep um, I then go into the, the filter down uh, in this area here and uh, and just say you know look for everything that I've put with one star or better and um, I've got uh, six images you can see here and uh, just quickly flip through those and look for the ones that uh, now that I've sort of filtered down, are the ones that uh, that I'm really wanting to have a look at here, and and do something with. So the uh, and then what I'd necessarily do here, um, if I had a large amount of uh, uh, different sorts of photos, then I keep adding an extra star to the ones that uh, really stand out at that time. So you know I might add uh, one to this one, and another one just by pressing the plus key, uh, one to this one, and then go through the uh, the the filter again and this time up to up it to two stars or better and of course then I've got uh, the two that I, I, I want to work on so having done all of that then of the ones that I want to work on uh, sort of uh, double click on those uh, thumbnails and you can and get them up and this is the one that's got these uh, uh, these birds down here I wanted to have a quick look at and so uh, I normally do my cropping first and so although I don't normally crop images as much as uh, this one uh, in this particular case whoops this has my battery um, in this particular case um, I want to uh, uh, highlight these birds so I'm going to cr crop a little bit more than I might normally here and uh, and there they are and then having done that I uh, click on the adjustments tab over here um, which you can click on the adjustments tab there and uh, there's a few things that I normally do now in this particular image um, one of the things that's obviously underexposed I, I've done that because of the obviously the bright, bright sunlight so um, I'm going to bring uh, this one up a bit um, probably not quite that much and the other thing that I want to do is uh, just bump up the saturation a little bit and the vibrancy just get a bit extra out of it but uh, what I'm really interested in here is knocking back uh, some of the highlights just take a bit of an edge on that overexposed sun area there and uh, and then just bring up the shadows a little bit as well and uh, so what I'm wanting to do is sort of just bring out this uh, this area uh, uh, down here uh, and around that, that area there and also with those it's not an ideal photo but it sort of shows you a bit of how uh, how the workflow might work and then you sort of do that with your keepers and um, and then they're kind of ready uh, for publishing.